Hello everyone's everyone's I am here for Game of Thrones season 8 episode 5. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, your family member, one of my peoples, welcome back. So we see Varys sending a or try, uh, writing a letter to let somebody know that there is a true heir to the throne. Not just Daenerys, we had somebody else in the running. Now, I'm wishing that he was able to send this letter out, but, you know, too many things were going on and he wasn't able to do that. But one of his little birdies lets him know that Daenerys, she is not eating. You know, she's still traumatized from Rhaegal getting killed and then Masandi getting killed. Like, she's stressed. She's not eating. She's not even braiding her hair in these elaborate braids that she uses. This. She's just stressed out. And the more stress she's getting, the angrier she's getting. And, you know, she's making these, you know, unwise decisions that are going to affect everybody. So, we see Viserys and John. Now, he basically, in a roundabout way, tells John, I know who you are. You are Aegon Targaryen, six of his name, protector of the realm. Now, I am all about who, um, Viserys tells John, he wants the rightful person on the throne. Like, I, you are the rightful person. Daenerys is not, she's slipping, she's making, you know, she's not making the best of decisions. And I've seen plenty of kings and queens, how they act, you know, when they're in court or I know how they act, you know, behind closed doors. I've seen the good, bad, and the ugly. And he says, you will rule, wise, you will rule wisely and well. I see that in you. I don't see that so much as in Daenerys, but John was like, I don't want the throne. Yes, I am, you know, the rightful heir. But I never wanted it, you know. I ne I didn't want to be the king of the north, you know. I grew up thinking I was a bastard, and I was fine with that. But now people are trying to make me king of the north. Now I find out that I am Aegon Targaryen, you know, the you know true heir to the throne. But Daenerys is my queen, and she gonna always be my queen. He keeps on saying that, and I don't know if he's trying to convince everybody else or convince himself because it seems like the more and more he's seeing Daenerys' actions he's questioning like should she be queen because she's just making some stupid choices like sending out her men last episode when they hadn't had a proper time to heal and this resulted in Masandi getting kidnapped and eventually killed and Rhaegar getting killed and plenty of other men we lost boats all because you want to go out there okay it's time to strike back when they just had the biggest battle of their life, like a biggest battle that anybody has ever had, and you didn't want these men to, you know, recuperate for just a short amount of time. You wanted them to just run out there right away, and that action resulted in you losing your best friend, Grey Worm losing his woman, and you use losing yet another dinosaur. Not dinosaur, but another dragon. So Daenerys is in the mind frame that John betrayed her by him talking to Sansa and his family and telling them who he really is. That that is the reason that all of these things happen. Like with Viserys, you know, had like now now it's Viserys knows, Tyrion knows, all the people knows, and Sansa told Tyrion because he was gonna go and spread, you know what he do to everybody else. She used you. And I, yeah, basically she did. But like, first of all, Sansa, you, you was wrong for going out here. John told you, swore you to secrecy. Like, you should have gone against him. But at the same time, you seeing how Daenerys is rolling and you like, she don't need to be on the throne. And at this point, but we're going to get to that a little later, I don't think she wants to, I don't think she should be on the throne. But we're going to get to that a little bit later. So now... Viserys has to die because I guess it's treason because I guess he didn't tell that he knew about Danny or that he was telling other folks about, uh, not telling things about Danny, but telling other people, other people about John. So now Drogon then like roasted him up. So now he's dead. I guess she already told him, do not go against me. I told you this before and you didn't listen. And I'm wishing he was able to send that, that letter out to let the people know that Jon Snow 
is actually Aegon Targaryen. He is the rightful heir to the throne. So when all of this is all over. So now Daenerys is putting her anger towards Tyrion because Jaime left. I guess he was trying to get past her men because he was trying to sneak back into King's Landing. So this is Tyrion's fault. But first of all, Tyrion didn't even know Jaime was gone. He thought he was still laid up there with Bria of Tarth. Jaime didn't tell him that he was leaving. He left on his own. But this is Tyrion's fault because Jaime left. Like I said, she start, she's starting to slip and she's starting to lose it. Like the anger is turning her mad. She turned into the Mad Queen. But... She lets Terry know, you know, this is the last time you're going to fail me because if you fail me again, you're going to turn to, to, you see what happened to Viserys? That's going to happen to you. So we have Arya and the Hound. They roll up on, you know, Daenerys' you know, soldiers like, hey, I'm Arya Stark. This is the Hound. I'm here to kill Cersei. Will you let us through? And dude was looking like, uh, we can't let you through. But the Hound was like, if she kills Cersei, you don't have to go to war and you can go home and you're not going to die. Would you just, you know, not let us go through and go to war and die, possibly? Or let her go through and kill her and you don't go to war? Take your pick. So they just like rolled into the city like it wasn't nothing. I was like, okay, Arya. Now, Tyrion, he didn't want to find... Um, Jamie. He's trying to talk Jamie into getting Cersei out of the Red Keep and just out of the city. Y'all find y'all a boat and you get her out of here so we don't have to have innocent lives killed. Like Tyrion, he's trying to like speak. He try, when he tried to speak to Jamie, he's like, there's a lot of innocent people there that Cersei does not care about killing. And we can go about this without these people dying. We can get Cersei up out of there, but we don't have to kill all these innocent people. He's all about, like, why should these innocent people have to die? But he does this even though that him trying to help Jamie, like, possibly get him roasted by Drogon as well. The going against Danny, like, this is going against Danny, like, letting him go and him, you know, capturing Cersei and they going off to live happily ever after. But he look at it as, like, Jamie, you made my childhood worth living. Like, I don't think I would have survived had you not been there for me when we was growing up. You, you saved me, so it's my time to save you. Okay? Like, I know it's a good possibility that Danny's going to kill me by, you know, Drogon fire. But I'm doing this because I'm trying to, you know, pay you back. And I'm trying to save, like, a lot of lives. So, y'all, yeah, Drogon came through and was like, I'm getting rid of everybody. Like, this is for my brother. And, um, it was in Uriah for killing my brother. Just, Took out all of the scorpions. Like, this is for my brother. <sighs> this is for my Sunday. <sighs> this is just because. <sighs> Drogon was coming through. He took out all the scorpions. Euron, I'm pretty sure his ankle probably got a little bit singed. Drogon was like, I am not here to play. This is what I'm going to do. Like, the soldiers... This one soldier, after, like, Drogon and, like, torched everything and then, like, torched the gate. Like, I don't know what this bro this man was going to do. Because, like, we got the Dothraki and the Unsullied a good two feet, maybe five, behind him. And he's running. I'm like, bruh, I don't know what you was going to do. Like, where was you going to run? Because... You the first one right there. They was going to cut your head off with one of them little crooked swords. I don't know where you thought you was going. You should have laid down act like you was dead. But then there's a possibility you would have got trampled to death by the horses. But like I, I, I just didn't know where you was going. Like they was like right behind you. Like a doggone swords swing away. But you, you was trying to get away. So I, I guess for like fighting to the end but I guess that wasn't fighting that was running to the end but I just didn't know where he was going like they right behind you sir like y'all Cersei she was up her standing in the red keep with this smug look on her face as people was just getting like just dying left and right like the soul just going down and you know Kyron coming there was like um I think we need to leave and she was like um no Euron he didn't kill one dragon he can kill another 
Yeah. Uran scorpions, they gone. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, they gone. Oh, oh, okay. What about Iron Fleet? We still got them. Yeah, they gone too. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't bust through the gates. Well, we have the soldiers, you know. They're not going to, you know, let their queen down. Really, them soldiers seen what was going on. They was like, you know what, bro? This not even worth it. They got John, the Unsullied, the Dothraki, Drogon rolling around, around flying around. They are like, you know, I don't think this is such a good idea. Like, we gonna just drop our swords because we not really trying to fight y'all or get burnt up by this dragon. So we just gonna, you know, surrender. That That's what we gonna do. That's what we're going to do. We don't want to get roasted alive for the sake of Cersei. Like, what has Cersei done for us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then, like, just when you thought, okay, you know, the soldiers that, you know, they didn't caved in, possibly ready to bend the knee to Daenerys, I'm thinking, okay, cool. We just got to go up there and get Cersei, kill her right quick, you know, kill them out, and we good. But no. Daenerys... The switch of crazy just went off in her head and she just starts burning everybody up. And they looking like, okay, so like since she's still burning people up and killing innocent people, do we fight now? So now like John, you know, the Unsullied and the Dothraki, now we got to get back to fighting because Daenerys is over here killing anything that's moving. I'm like, really girl? Like they rung the bell and I'm assuming that means we surrender. But she said it just like her and Drogon just like burning just the innocent people up. So the fight has to start all over again. It's like, child, girl, no. Y'all I mean it was over. And this is when John was like, see, I did not want to be king. I was trying to forbid this from happening, but Danny she she making stupid decisions. Like like all these people, like you killing all these people, who you gonna rule over? The dogs rock in the unsullied. You didn't did all this. Now what? So now she over there trying to take down a red key because she think the red key is safe. Like, did you see how Drogon was like destroying those buildings? You didn't think the red key was gonna go down? So like her Kyburn, the mount, and like her other army dudes were standing there, and like the red key was going down, and the mount had to like hover over her to like protect her. And this is when the hound came up was like. Hey, big brother, how you doing? Now, the mouth is only listening to Cersei and Cersei alone since he didn't got reanimated. But he was looking like, oh, so we 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 doing this right now? This is what we doing, little brother. So you know, he's finna walk up, and she was like, "Stand by me, dude. Where are you going? You supposed to be protecting me. Do you not see what is going on all around us?" And Kyron was like. Hey, protect your queen. He took Kyron, and smashed his hand against the wall and just threw him like he was a raggedy and, and or Andy doll. He gone now. Then I'm like, okay, what's going to happen to Cersei? Like, these two get to fighting. I didn't know what was going to do. Um, next thing you know, Jamie gets to Cersei as the Red Keep is getting destroyed. And I'm like... Okay, like, I wanted Arya to just, like, pop out of nowhere and, like, kill Cersei. But she and the Hound already had this, like, discussion, like, you know, I've been after revenge since I was a little, you know, little kid. This is not what you want to do. And, like, she was, like, running around, passing out and getting knocked out, like, left and right. Then we see, like, Jamie and Cersei, like, they went out the same way they came into this world together. Like, the Red Keep, just like, like, now, technically we didn't see them die, but with all the rubble that fell on them, I'm just going to assume that they're dead. Now, I wanted the most gruesome of gruesome deaths for Cersei. I didn't want a quick death. I wanted her death to linger on for, a, like, an excruciating death to where she lingered on for a very long time before she died but I didn't get that and I was disappointed like at one point I thought Kyburn was like what's her name Arya in disguise and she, you know she was gonna get to kill her but that didn't happen and I, I was disappointed I was like no Cersei she was supposed to die a slow lingering death 
But it didn't happen. It's just her and Jamie held on to each other as they died. He had already killed Euron like long ago. But like Euron was stupid. It's like you see all this going on. You could have hopped in a boat and rolled your tail on off somewhere. But you want to fight Jamie? Like why? You want to save Cersei because you think she, you know, she pregnant? You didn't got you didn't got her pregnant. She was already pregnant, dude. But anyways, the Mount and the Hound they up her fighting, and at one point I don't know if. The hounds I got poked out because, like, seeing stuff like that I can't do. Like, I can watch surgery all day, every day. I can see somebody getting a knee transplant. But, like, when it goes to the eyes and the nose, that's when your girl got to kind of cut out. Like, he not going to stab the mount so many times. I didn't got you in the neck. I didn't got you in the doggone head. I didn't got you through the eyeball. And you just won't die. So he's like, the only way I'm going to be able to kill you if I kill us both. So it's like a murder suicide type of situation. So he just like rams into him and they like both fall out of the wherever they was at into like a gulf of fire. As all this is going on, we see that like green fire going off everywhere. People are running and getting burnt up left and right because Daenerys, she didn't lost her ever loving mind because she got going it, killing any and everybody. And last week, like John was already trying to get people out. Arya was trying to get people out because like ain't no point of these innocent people getting killed and like Arya was like looking at the aftermath of all that Daenerys did and she was looking like see I knew I was right she not fit to be queen like she didn't destroy this whole entire king's landing and it ain't but like five people left for her to rule over here like who you ruling now that you didn't rule you didn't just torched everything so who you the ruler over now Besides the unsettling and the Dothraki and the little few little people that's left, you know, at Winterfell. This episode proved that Daenerys, she not fit to be queen. She let her emotions get the best of her. She could have stopped after she got rid of all the scorpions and knocked down the wall. The soldiers, they had dropped down their swords. All we had to do was go in there and kill Cersei and have been done and over with. Like, somebody could have hopped on Drogon's back and they could have got to the Red Keep, set that on fire, and she'd have been gone. And she could have just been like, y'all, I'm y'all queen now. You know, I'm on the Iron Throne. And everybody been like, yes, you a whole lot better than Cersei. You didn't kill none of us. But no, Daenerys had to kill everybody. So, for that, she she just she don't need to be queen. In my opinion. She's still my girl, but she don't need to be queen. John, you go ahead and step up. You see how she acting. And then it's like she kind of had, like, got mad at John earlier in the episode because he didn't want to kiss her. Like, excuse him for thinking that incest is wrong. Just because your mom and daddy was brother and sister and they was cool with it and you came into this world, you and your, three of your brothers, does not mean everybody cool with him. He, he not cool with being with his auntie. You shouldn't be cool with it either, but I guess that's how y'all get down. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free 99. If you're returning, you a family member, one of my peoples, welcome back. Tell your people, tell your people to come over and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.